Understand why are integers x over 1, 2, 3, 4 equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 over uh, y? If we cross multiply, then x, y equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 squared. If we cross, if we prime factorize, 1, 2, 3, 4 is 2 times 6, 1, 7 squared. And if you check, 6, 1, 7 is, perfect, is prime number, so it is 2 squared times 6, 1, 7 squared. Now for x, if you determine x, the cases of y, the y will be determined. So for x, because of plus minus the sign is 2, this x is integer times. For power of 2, 2 to the 0, we can select for x or 2 to the 1 or 2 to the 2. Three cases for 6, 1, 7 to the 0, 6, 1, 7 to the 1 or 6, 1, 7 squared. Three cases also here, it will be 9 times to 18 cases. So we have 18 cases for x also. And so it, we have 18 cases for x and y. Let me first tell you some of them. If it's like minus 2, 1, 6, 7, 1 square, x is this minus 2 to the 1 times 6, 1, 7 square. And y will be negative 2 to the 1. And also other cases you can write like this. Let me tell you another problem that you can solve. Try to solve this then. x over 1, 2, 3 equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 over y. It's homework number 1. And let me tell you, because prime factorization of years are important, that's homework number 2. Try to solve this. x over 2023 20, equal 2023 20, over y. In many exams, we need that. Homework number 3. x over 2024 20, equal to 2024. Right. And another thing I want to tell you, I want to tell you a homework that we have three variables. x over 8, for example, equal to y over 2, equal to z um, over, for example, 24. And here, x, y, z are integers in all cases. Try to see how many answers do we have when we have three variables. Okay, if you had questions, send message to my WhatsApp number and please don't forget to subscribe. Turn on the bell and like the video. Thanks. Bye.